welcome back to my channel. So today I have this really fun eyeshadow tutorial using the new ColourPop Let's Fly Away collection. There's a bunch of beautiful new items. They have a gorgeous eyeshadow palette, some beautiful new lipsticks and jelly much eyeshadows and super shock shadows. So I tried to use as much as I could from the new collection. So if you wanna see how I got this look using that new collection, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's get started. I'm going to, of course, first go in with this beautiful palette from ColourPop. This is a new palette from them. This is called their Flutter By palette. And as you can see, it's based on these butterflies and it's just a really beautiful kind of like nudish with like mauvies and purples in there and plums. It's just a really beautiful palette. And you are getting 12 shadows in here. You're getting a mix of finishes. You're getting your mattes. You're getting your metallics. You're also getting a pressed glitter, which is amazing. And it's just a really, really beautiful palette. So I'm so excited to use it. And the rest of the collection is gorgeous as well. They came up with a bunch of beautiful super shock shadows. Two new jelly mud shadows. Also this really big highlighter, which is adorable. You can see this is the packaging. It gives you like that old school big powder Powder puff vibe and you can see all the product is in here and then you get a really big puff you can use it as like a body highlighter or whatever you would want to highlight you get a lot of product in here so that's amazing you guys I'm just recovering from a bad cold I happen to catch this bad cold and I've been out of commission for a few days and it just is like one of those like lingering colds that just doesn't want to go away so if I sound a little bit stuffed up it's because I am. <laughs> I've also been dealing with a bit of an allergic reaction with my eyes. I actually went to the doctor about a week ago because my eyes were like so like runny and like I noticed that when I slept they were like sticking together and like I, I thought it was like an eye infection or something. The doctor actually said that it looks to me like it was inflammation of my eyelids and I got like an antibiotic thing. It kind of worked but I still feel like my eyes aren't 100%. He said it's probably because of eyelash glue. I was using that dual lash glue the one where it's like the brush tip one the green one and that one is actually supposed to be pretty clean it doesn't have latex in it or anything else so I'm not sure but maybe that was um, not agreeing with my eyes so I did actually change my eyelash glue so I haven't worn lashes in a while I've been kind of giving my eyes a break so today I'm actually gonna use a new eyelash glue which is the house of lashes one so we'll see how that affects my eyes so we're going to test out a couple things today so I'm going to dip into this gorgeous shade here this is called made to last and it's it's kind of just like a neutral blush tone shade a little bit on the cool side as you can see this whole palette is pretty cool so I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy blending brush I think this is a Zoeva one it's I think all the writings off but it says 228 I think I'm reading that correctly but just any big fluffy blending brush and we're going to place that in the crease I would love to know if any of you guys have had any similar problems like me with your eyes feeling really irritated and being someone like myself who loves makeup, I love wearing false lashes, I'm kind of just like, oh no, I really don't <laughs> want to have to deal with not being able to like wear all the makeup I want to wear and use the products I want to use. I know maybe it's a blessing in disguise to not maybe wear as many false lashes as I do, but I just feel like I don't look the same without them. I'm like, I love my false lashes, but I am going to try to wear them less maybe just save them for filming and like more special occasions because I would literally wear them every day. Even like going to the grocery store, I would put on false lashes. I know that sounds ridiculous, but when you just get used to something, it's just, it just becomes a habit. But I would love to know if anyone has a similar experience and please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Wow, this color is just stunning, guys. It's like that beautiful, like mauvey, pinky nude shade. It looks amazing in the crease. I'm like totally obsessed with this color right now. And you can see it's really nice. It's blending out beautifully. Love that color. Okay, so we have that shade all blended out. And I think I forgot to tell you guys, but as you can see, I do have my whole face makeup on. I did my brows and I actually just put concealer as the base for my eyeshadow. So nothing else but just the ColourPop concealer. So that's all I have as a base. And now I'm going to deepen up that shadow a bit with this beautiful shade here called Cha Cha Changes. And it's a really nice kind of neutral brown, a little bit more on the warm side, super pretty. So I'm gonna blend that into my crease with this ColourPop E1 brush. Okay, 
so I think I'm going to create a bit of a cut crease. So I'm going to use my tried and true concealer. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 00. So it is their pure white concealer. I'm going to take some of that onto this flat concealer brush. This is a ColourPop E4 brush and I'm going to just carve out a cut crease on the inner corners of my eyes. cut crease carved out and I kind of just left the outer corner just free because I really focused it towards the inner corner so I'm going to go in with this gorgeous shade here called sun flare it's like a gorgeous beautiful light frosty champagne pink shade and I'm just gonna place that all over on the lid here where we place that cut crease but before I go into that shade I'm gonna spray my brush with a little bit of this makeup spray this is just a pixie rose glow mist spray so even like a max fix plus will work any kind of makeup spray will work just to help the metallic shadow just stick on your eye a little bit better that shade is super pretty it's really pigmented and buttery and I just love it there's so many gorgeous shades in this collection in this palette between the super shock shadows and the jelly mud shadows it's so hard to choose what shades I want to use for this look so I definitely do want to do another look using this palette because it's so pretty so let me know if you guys would like to see that and I also want to play with this beautiful super shock shadow here this is called mighty morphin and it's a really a beautiful golden shade with a bit of multi-colored glitters in there just really really pretty so I'm just gonna take some of that with that same brush that we're using here this is just a flat so Ava 234 Lux smoky shader brush and I'm gonna take some of that and just place it on the outer corners kind of just making that golden shade just fade towards the outer edges so I'm kind of placing that shade as you can see on the outer corner and also just smoking it on the middle part here just so you kind of see that golden shade and then you'll see that lighter pinky shade on the inner corner. Okay, now going in with this ColourPop E1 brush, I'm going to dip into this darker shade in the palette. This is called Angel BB and it's a really beautiful deep plum shade and I'm just gonna smoke that on the outer corners of the eyes just to add a little bit more dimension and to make sure the look is nice and clean. Now going in with this ColourPop E9 brush, I'm going to dip into the shade we used in the beginning called Made to Last, and I'm going to smoke that out on the lower lash line. Okay, now going in with the smaller pencil brush, this is a ColourPop E10 brush. I'm going to dip into this darker shade here called Angel BB. I'm just going to deepen up the lower lash line with that shade. Okay, and now in the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to go in with this stunning Jelly Mud shadow, part of the collection as well. You can see their packaging is so cute. It has like a little butterfly on top. This is called Buttercup. As you can see, it just looks like white, but there is nice little glitters in there. So it's just like a pure frosty Jelly Mud shadow. It's really pretty. So I'm going to take some of that onto this Morphe JH42 brush and I'm going to place that on the inner corner and drag it just a little bit further up there just to really make that white pop. You can see I'm kind of just dragging it on the lower lash line and a bit above there just really making it pop, that whole inner corner. And you can see that that Jelly Mud shadow is so bright. It's so white and just frosty and it's gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm going to put on some mascara. This is the Givenchy Black Disturbia Mascara. I'm going to place that on my top and lower lashes. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to pop on a pair of lashes. These are a pair I got from eBay. I will link them in the description box down below. And I'm going to use this new lash glue I got from House of Lashes. This is just their white clear one. And we'll see how my eyes react to that. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lips. First, I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal lip liner. This is in the shade called 114 Matting Call, and I'm just going to line my lips with this nice medium tone brown first. Okay, now they also came out with a bunch of really nice lipsticks in their collection. I'm going to actually use one of these shades. This is called Bloom to Bloom, and it is a velvet blur formula, and it's a really, really nice neutral nude color super pretty so i'm just gonna fill in my lips with that okay guys so this is the finished look i really hope that you guys like the way this turned out i really love this a new collection from ColourPop. i think it's so beautiful i just was obsessed with the color selection that they chose everything was really girly and pretty i love the soft pinks and purples and mauves and metallics. I'm really obsessed with that super frosty jelly mud shadow that I placed on the inner corner. It's just so beautiful. I think the eyeshadow palette is stunning. I really want to create more looks using it because there's just so many beautiful shades and formulations in there. I think they did an amazing job. And I also really think that this lipstick is pretty. I love the formula. You can see it looks pretty matte but it's like very moisturizing on the lips so it just gives you that really nice like matte powdery look but it is not drying at all and it really moisturizes your lips so I really really love that and overall I think it's just a beautiful collection I really like the eye look that I came up with I think it's super pretty and girly and just fun and I would love to know what you guys think if you like this look if you want to see more looks using that palette and the other items from the collection please let me know in the comment section I would love to film more for you guys using it so if you guys like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are not already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye, bye.